All right, what's going on everyone? Welcome to a new video. Uh, today's video, we're gonna be installing the k &N panel filter onto the Tiguan. So this is what I had on it before. Uh, CTS, it was a CTS cold air intake. You know, I just took it off and put the stock air box on. Just mainly for the reason like, this sounds really good. Uh, you know, the cone and the cold air intake cold air intake but it just has the, the like loudest spool up from the turbo because it's not stock it's a ko4x and the spool up is so insanely loud you can't hear over it the recirc valve on it is obnoxious so i'm gonna try this out and see if i like the setup better um back to the stock air box um you know this is all off i got the k&n filter a lifetime one you just wash it and re-oil it up to 50 percent more airflow so i just tried it all right so here's the setup now again back to the stock air box i'm not real happy about it the only reason i'm doing it is because it is obnoxious how loud the cold air intake is and i you know i understand you get your performance gains from it you know and better sound and spool and all that which is great I do like that, you know, if this doesn't give me the power I like from it, I'm gonna go back to the cold air intake. You know, I'm also missing the the snorkel piece right here that's supposed to come up and, you know, clip on to pull air from the front, you know, through the vents here. Um, I, I gotta find that, because I know right now it's literally, you know, pulling hot air from the radiator and sucking that right up. So I'm not giving it the best fighting chance here, but I'm hoping putting the panel filter in will help. Um, so we're going to get right into it. Real easy install. You know, everything's piping hot, which is great. Got our filter. We got a drill Phillips bit on it. There you go. Take our filter. Just going to open it up real quick. This is the part number for anyone wondering, or this is the SKU they use in the store. The part number is 3328.65. That's the number for the Tiguan. Pretty much, I'm going to say it's most Mark 6s, maybe some of the Mark 5s that have the same air box setup. I know the Mark 6 GTIs do because they share the same engine. There it is. Just a panel filter. Um, oh, there's more in the box. A little more in the box. Dump it out, what we get. Okay. Guessing this is your warranty card. Nah, this is just helpful hints. If you don't really care about that. If you cared, you wouldn't be watching the video. Don't forget this step, register your filter. This is so you get your lifetime warranty on it. Not really too concerned, it was 60 bucks. But you know, if you're concerned, register your product. And then we got our sticker to put on the air box. Just saying this has a K&N, do not throw it out. It's washable. And we got a sticker for the back. Put that on the window, plus 10 horsepower. So we got our filter, I'm gonna open it up. This is an oiled filter. I don't, I don't really like that, but yeah, you know, it's whatever. It's not really gonna affect it, I don't think. Nice panel filter. So we're gonna go to the car and I'll show you what to do. All right. So here's our air box. Take a peek, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws. Um, some of them are kind of stripped so they don't loosen all the way, but simple as just taking them off. That one's stripped. That one's also stripped. That one came out. That came out. That came out. That came out. Then we're just gonna lift up. The box lifts up and off. I'm just gonna grab your filter. So we're gonna compare these in the light. So here you go. Here's your comparison. You can see size difference. The Volkswagen one is probably at least double, maybe triple. Um, 
pretty dirty. It's pleats. So there's not a whole lot of airflow. You know what I mean? The air flows in between these plates. As far as I know, maybe a little through these, but either way, it's it's struggling to get air. And you can take a peek. These are pretty dirty in there. So that's our stock filter. You can see all the junk in there. That's what it looks like. New K and N again. There's the comparison. Bigger, bigger pleats in it. Again, it's it's oiled to pick up all the dirt. That's why it's reusable, so you can wash it and re-oil it to pick up the dirt. But a lot better flow. These are a lot wider, more more airflow. So I'm just gonna take it over to the car. Um, I believe this is your snow screen, which you know I don't really care about too much. I guess I'll leave it in there for now. Um, I don't think it really changes much. I just think it stops like big leaves and stuff from making it to the filter. So I'll take a filter, literally drop it in, make sure it's sitting flush, which it is. There it is. All right, now I'm just gonna take the box, wiggle it back over, set it on, take the drill. We're just gonna run these down. Like I said, some of these are stripped, so they're not gonna run in. There you go, there's one that actually went. Backside is being a pain and not cooperating. It's just gotta go work it on. Hopefully, the screw will bite now. It's just threads already pretty much stripped on it, so there's not a whole lot for it to bite into. Not too worried about that. It's a little annoying, I guess. No, actually it did bite. There we go. Now it's on. So there's our filter installed. Sorry, I was holding you the wrong way. Sealed up around the edges. It's on. Come back over, we're gonna get our Sticker right here, put this on the air box, stick that like that, which this is why you want to clean it so it actually sticks. All right, so there's our sticker. I dropped the other half, but that's fine. So there's that. That's literally it for the install, very easy. Let's we'll start it off and get a sound clip. All right, here we go. second make sure we got good oil pressure we're good there it's our boost sounds pretty good you get from the outside all right sounds good all right so that's it sounds pretty good uh, I'll, I'll know when I go to drive it because I could feel a massive difference in power just putting the stock box back on. It felt so much slower. So I'll know right off if this filter makes a difference. But I'm fine with it being quiet as long as it's still somewhat decently powerful. But that's going to be it. You can see this is what I was talking about. Fans running. Just blowing hot air right into the intake. So I really got to get the snorkel piece so it's pulling cold air. That'll help big time, but that's going to be it for this video. So if you enjoyed, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Let me know what I can do better. And uh, if you want to see more on this car, things done to it, let me know, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.